Welcome to day one of at home learning. Okay, so for today's activities, how this works is the top part of every page shows you the work that we'd like you to accomplish. And the bottom half gives you some choice board options. And there is a different video that you can watch to hear about today's choice board. So I'm gonna talk you through the um, choices here we'd like you to do up at the top. The first one is reading. Today, sort through a selection of fiction eBooks on a virtual platform, choosing several and decide which are just right for you. Now, what that means is if you have physical books, that is great, but um, there are many, many more books available to you through eBooks, which are electronic books. Now, what you can do is you can go up to, if you are on your own Chromebook, you can go to student bookmarks right here. If you are not on your own Chromebook and you're on a different um, device, you can go to the district webpage and search up apps for students. Once you are on apps for students, you can use the very same clever dashboard that you do at school. So when you log into your clever dashboard using your um, email and password, then you don't have to do any more logging in. You can get into all of these different applications um, very simply once you've logged in one time. So you could use the bookshelf books. There's a ton of books there that you can read. You can investigate Sora and see if you can get into books there or tumble books. Perhaps your teacher has also set up Epic for you to read books through there as well. So those are some of the options. Under writing, today you're going to write a fiction story. So remember that is a story that is not necessarily true. It can be um, imaginative. You're going to think about some small moments that have happened in your own life, and you're going to jot some notes on maybe what do you think would be a strong story idea? What could be characters and your setting? And then think of some possible story arcs. What are the problems that your characters might face and how do you think your story could end? The next thing we're gonna do is to hop into math. And we're gonna start every math day with completing one to two lessons in Dreambox and then solving today's problem. And you can get to Dreambox the exact same way by logging in through Clever. Okay, here's today's problem. In the pet store, there are six fish tanks. Each one of those tanks has 12 fish. So how many total fish are there? Now, beyond just coming up with the answer, can you show how you went about solving that? Like what strategy did you use? Um, you have a photo there, which kind of shows you the fish tank. You can kind of imagine using um, numbers, you can use drawings, whatever. We also have a link to some um, counters. So a tool there that you can use to see if you can come up with the answer. Okay, now the last column is going to be the same every single day, but there are different activities. So I wanted to explain it here on day one. You're going to do today's activity from the monthly health and physical education calendars. Now, if you click that link right there, it's going to take you to a page on our website that looks like this. Now we have put up here the health and PE calendars for each month. Right now it only has September, but we will be adding more months when they become available. You'll notice that we have the September calendar in English on the left, and we also have it in Spanish on the right. So once you click on the calendar, you're shown just that, a calendar. You need to figure out what today's date is and then do the activity that is listed for today's date. Some are health related, some are physical um, PE kind of activities related. The next thing is you could do some activities from the BSD Brain Boost page. So if you click on that link, it will take you to a whole fun collection from Beaverton teachers and maybe some kids you even know here with dances and different brain breaks that you can do at home. Now we wanna make sure that you are taking breaks throughout the day and moving your body. So we hope that that helps you get started learning on your day for today. Have fun.